All right, folks, we are coming to you live from Venice High School for the CAF LA City section soccer game between the Venice Gondors and the Palisades Dolphins. And what should be an entertaining one, without a doubt, we are Futboleando coming to you once again live from Venice High School. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we are underway for the first 40 minutes of this one. And a reminder, it is 40 minutes half here in CIF soccer. Would like to thank all of you for tuning in to our broadcast here today. I am Jose Duran, your play-by-play -play broadcaster, bringing you all of today's actions between the Division I Pacific Palisades and the Division II Venice Gondoliers Derby game. So a Clásico without a doubt between these two. To see who will be on top. Palisades coming in with a record of 11-3-3. and 3-0-3 oh, in league. Both of these two teams competing in what is the Western League. Balls inbound. And a corner kick, says the official. Like we were mentioning, both these teams coming out of the Western League. The Venice Gondoliers as well. And both these teams looking to make an impact in this one early. Ball's placed inside. Cleared away and gone out. Once again, folks, thank you for tuning in live. We're coming to you from Venice, California, out on the west side today. We were in the San Fernando Valley earlier in the week. Back into live action here. Both these two teams looking to go ahead and demonstrate grit and passion. Here comes the gondoliers, and the ball's going to be played all the way back to the goalkeeper. Looking to go to Cole Hubbard. And Cole Hubbard just clears this one out of way, out of danger. All the way to Altamirano. Can't save it. A throw in for Venice. Was being played on Venice side, but looking to come out of here is Jack Spirito putting the ball forward here for Venice. Ramirez was checking in. Ball's going to be played out here in the near side. Looking for Noah Ferrero, but it's going to be out of bounds and a throw in. A cool night as it's been throughout, I would say, the rather good part of the week. Not a great reception here by Venice. Ball's going to be rolled all the way through here back defensively. And further back to the goalkeeper. Here's Hubbard, Ball's played here on the near side for the team all in white, the visiting Palisades Dolphins, Pacific Palisades, looking to go ahead and get their 12th win of the year, facing a Venice Gondoliers team who tied the last time they faced each other over at Pacific Palisades. Game ended at 0-0. Hubbard fighting for it in white. Still going. Official's going to blow a whistle. So there's going to be a free kick in favor of the Dolphins. Ball's 
played inside the box all the way through to no one goal kick in favor of Venice. Goalkeeper's going to go ahead and get us restarted. Ball's going to be in the middle of the field. This Venice High School field, athletic field rather, lights are on. The lights have been officially turned on here as we are enjoying some Friday night lights football. Via Futboleando, thank you so much for tuning in. It's a great one between these two. It's a derby game, a clásico of clásicos. As once again, we are coming to you live from... Venice, California, you are watching CAF LA City Section Soccer via, soccer via Futboleando. Ball's going to be crossed in. Heel turns. One time shot. A goal! by Venice High School and what a goal and what a time to do it and they put the gondoliers on top it's number 11 Anton Skoloff the junior able to go ahead and put that one into the back of the net it is one to nothing in favor of the home team just like that what a goal by Skoloff we'll have the replay for you in a bit in a bit but I mean you could hear it in the players, you could hear it on the field. It's an intense game. Both these teams want to come out on top of this one, regardless of where they are in the standings. They know that what it means. We'll go ahead and take a look at another, once again at the replay of that goal. Look at that control, one time touch, turn. What a golazo! Skola showing off that he has that touch and finish essential here is Venice able to go ahead and get on top of this one early upset without a doubt if they come out on top and we defeat the number four Pacific Palisades in the Futboleando rankings definitely one of the favorites to win the title but going to be Place here near side, pushing forward are the home team. Here comes Venice. Ball goes further back. That was Payne who touched it. Hobart clears it momentarily. One nothing in favor of Venice here. Boss playing in the far side, recovered by Lawrence. Goes here again with Payne, who checks in, goes near side. Great ball if it stays inbound, but even a great, greater tackle by Cole Hubbard. Great stuff by Hubbard, and even great stuff here by Kim. He was able to go ahead and get away from one and two, but not from three. Fisher blows his whistle. It's going to be a free kick in favor of The Dolphins. This Venice team who's coming in to this one with an overall record of 5-3-1, three, 3-2-1 and one, three, two, and one overall, fourth in the Western League. The Western League who has University at top of this one, Fairfax in second, and Palisades at third. Palisades and University, the only undefeated teams in the Western League. However, Palisades... Out of all those teams that was mentioned to you, the only team that is in Division One. I'm 
Men is looking to go ahead and possibly extend their lead. Great defense appearance. Ball's going to be played all the way on the far side, still pushing forward. Goes down. Official's going to say it's a free kick foul in favor of Venice. Once again, folks, thank you so much for joining us on our Friday Night Lights football broadcast via Football Yando. We are coming to you live on our multiple streaming platforms via Facebook, YouTube, as well as Twitch. Don't forget to like and subscribe our multi-streaming platforms. We'll be looking to bring in you coverage of CIF LA City section soccer all the way through the playoffs. Fish is going to go ahead and blow for a whistle in favor of The Dolphins, Palisades, looking to go ahead and tie this one up. Boss going to be kicked all the way inside. Kim controls. Back to Kim. Gets away from one. Great stuff from Kim, putting that one forward. Gets control, goes to his right, still in the box. Now gets the ball stolen away. Ball's cleared away. It's going to be a goal kick. We'll take another look at that goal from Venice earlier. You look at the celebration, but take a look at the goal, the reception, the one-time turn. Oof. I mean, I think he took the goalie by complete surprise there. Wasn't thinking he was going to go ahead and take that one-time shot. He does. And we're talking now one nothing in favor of the home team. The Venice Rondeliers, the blue team attacking from left to right. Palisades Dolphins, the white team attacking from right to left. Ball's going to be deflected out of bounds in favor of the Dolphins. Excuse me, the Gondoliers. Thank you so much, folks, for tuning us in tonight. It's going to be played all the way back to the goalkeeper. He has Lawrence nearby if he wants him. We come here near side. This is Torres. Great overlapping run made by Payne. Payne on this one. Venice on top, 1-0. Back to Lawrence. Looking to go ahead and put this one on top. Hubbard looking to cut that one. Other sides not to. Thirteen minutes gone by here in the first half. One nothing in favor of Venice. Let us know in the comment section where are you tuning in? Who do you think's gonna come on top of this one? Will it be Venice? Will it be Palisades on this Derby night here in Venice, California? Opportunity here for Venice to extend their lead. Fish is going to blow his whistle here. Does so now. Ball's going to be crossed in. Cleared away defensively by Palisades. Looking to break away. We haven't seen one of their leading attackers so far make an appearance tonight. Joyce Jones. He had the pleasure of covering... Pacific Palisades a little less than a month ago over at the 2023-24 Southeast Winter Classic Tournament. Team that was able to go ahead and make it all the way through the semifinals. Fell to a very well Fremont team. 2-1. to one. Ball's going to be placed inside. Opportunity here once again for Venice.
crossed in second post all the way through and nothing coming out of this one's going to be a goal kick for for Pacific Palisades even though we'll see a couple of substitutions coming in for Venice exiting is going to be number 24 Bedoya for Palisades See the player entering the game of number 27 there briefly. Back to live action plays Joyce Jones making an entrance as well. Playing on the far side attacking as a right winger as it appears. Here comes Venice once again. Opportunity put a through ball here. Goalkeeper out of it. Able to go ahead and get a deflection there. And we're going to have a corner kick. Great shot there. Able to go ahead and get a clearance for a corner kick for Venice. Boss crossed in, deflected out of bounds. Official says it's going to be a free kick because there was a foul in favor of Pacific Palisades. Once again, folks, we are coming to you live from Venice, California tonight. Made the trip out to the west side in beautiful Venice High School, home of the gondoliers. We're back into live action here for the Pacific Palisades, looking to go ahead and tie this one in here. Ball plays in the middle for the player who just recently came in, but great stolen away from Venice. Kim able to go ahead and get control briefly. Ball's going to be bounced, headed away. Here's Cole Hubbard. Able to go ahead and clear that one out, but it's going to be in favor of Venice. Seventeen minutes gone in this one. It is one nothing in favor of Venice, a team that is looking to go ahead and get their sixth win of the year, improved to six three and one overall, and four two and one in league. Here we go again on the throw in. Cleared away momentarily by Kim. Opens it up here, touches it to Jack Spirito. Loses the ball. Back in possession of the team. All in white, the team that's visiting us from Pacific Palisades. Who's going to get control of this one. Looks like it was Noah Ferrero for Palisades. Doesn't go ahead and get clear there. And it goes to Lev. Number seven of Venice. Opens it all the way to the far side. Ball's going to be lost. But still in possession of the gondoliers one nothing the score line here on a gloomy day across the southland but things are heating up here inside of this one is a derby game between venice and palisades the classical if you will and here comes joyce jones looking to go ahead and make a turn still in possession of it pauses cuts inside hands it off and here comes palisades back to jones fighting for it officials not going to blow his whistle does so now it's going to be a free kick in favor of pacific palisades ramirez able to go ahead and hand this one off Opens it up here for who? Here's Cole Hubbard. Looking to go ahead and cross a ball in dangerous cross. Doesn't get anything out of this one though. And it's going to be a goal kick in favor of Venice. We 
have a substitution happening here. Entering the game for Venice is going to be number 32. Exiting the game is number 12. Ball's well, going to be restarted, but not before we get the substitution officially made here. Once again, folks, thank you so much for joining our broadcast. I am Jose Duran. Coming to you as your cameraman, play-by-play, -play, broadcaster, producer, audio, tech, whatever you want to go ahead and add on to that. But we are here and we're happy to be part of your Friday afternoon. I'm bringing you some great soccer of CAF LA City section. The talent that is CAF soccer. Twenty minutes left in the first half. Remember that it's forty minute halves here at Syria FLA City section. Official blows whistle out of bounds in favor of Palisades, once again, folks, we are coming to you live. Beautiful shot there of Venice Beach. We are specifically in Venice High School, but about a 10-minute drive from Venice Beach. Right off of Lincoln Boulevard, if you will. For those answering, wondering the location right off of Lincoln Boulevard and Venice Boulevard, the location of Venice High School. Cole Harvard's going to go ahead and get us restarted here. Tries to look for Ramirez. Ramirez able to go ahead and get control of this one momentarily. Still going. Tries to do a move to get himself some space. Doesn't get it. It's going to be a throw in here on the near side. Just going to say Noah Ferrero was covering oh, on top of that ball, rather, and call a free kick in favor of Venice. This is Lawrence, number 20 of Venice. Very well overall defending so far tonight from Lawrence. So gets us restarted, looking for it is Kim. Can't do it there. Loses it, gets possession, but not before he commits a foul on Lev. The number seven player of Venice. Antonio able to go ahead and get us restarted here. Looking for someone to check in. Whether it be Lawrence or Payne. He has numbers on top. Goes rather short for Lawrence. Picks his head up. He's going to go ahead and put a cross in. Not the best of crosses in for a goal kick. Took a what changed earlier today. And it's this goal here. This great goal and turn by Skoloff, who was able to go ahead and change the scoreboard here. Look at that control and turn. Boom. Oof. Great goal scored by Skoloff, and he has this one momentarily heading the way of Venice, home of the Gondos. Here comes the Gondos possibly looking to go ahead and extend the lead. This is left, pushes the ball forward up top to Perianes. Perianes still going. Oof, gets away from one, does a dummy. Still there, goes down. Official says play out, no foul. Finally clearing this one away, but back in possession of who? Venice, here come the Gondos. They're looking to put some pressure on top, Lawrence. Goes even further back with his goalkeeper who clears this one out of danger. Doesn't want any problem of that. Does it stay in bounds? No, it goes out of bounds. Goalkeeper just wanted to go ahead and clear that one out at any possible way. 
Ball stolen away. Here we go on the opposite side. Tracking this one is Jesse Altamirano. He goes either further back to his goalkeeper. Does get pressure on him. And clear that one away of danger. Ball's headed through. Doesn't believe it was an offsides. Official keeps his hand down. Back in it. Here's Kim. Looking to put a ball through forward. Doesn't get do it. Gets cut away. And back in possession of Venice. Hubbard heads that one. Lawrence cuts that one away. Here they come once again, trying to send a through ball. Keel doesn't do it there. Ferrero still fighting for it. Official's going to blow his whistle here as Noel Ferrero gets fouled. 25 minutes have gone by in this one. It's 1-0 in favor of Venice. Ball's going to be put forward all the way to the corner. No one coming out of it. Back in possession of the Gondos. Here they come, pushing forward. This is Payne. Does the reception. Goes back inside in the middle. Burst of speed. Attacking here on the near side and very well done by Brandon Ramirez he steals this one away and here they come once again the Pacific Palisades he's onside official does say so here comes Joyce Jones able to go ahead and tie this one up go Who else? Joyce joins the goal attacker of Pacific Palisades. And there you have him on screen here. Able to go ahead and just with calm and ease put that one into the back of the net. It is now 1-1 one, one the score line here. 27 minutes have gone by and just a great goal scored by Jones. And great stuff overall by Palisades. Are they able to go ahead and keep the game close at, you know, sometimes of the game, it seemed like Venice had complete control of this one, but the object of the goal, the game here is to score as many goals as possible. And Venice just hasn't had that many clear opportunities outside of the goal they scored earlier in the game. Cleared away, headed from by Lawrence, still there. Tries to head it again, doesn't do so, and he hits his hand. The official blows the whistle. Yeah, it's going to be a free kick in favor of Palisades. Entertaining one here so far tonight as the number four <coughs> ranked Palisades in the Football Leandro rankings are looking to go ahead and keep pace in league. Ball poke forward. Jones looking for it and goalkeeper able to go ahead and corral this one and come out quickly. Pressured through. What a great stuff from Venice. This is a great team. Venice a team that's battling in Division Two, and we're gonna give teams in Division Two a great stuff. Put forward for Jones. He's gonna get there. Goes down. Officials gonna say it's a penalty kick. Penal, 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 penalty. We'll look at the replay here. It goes down. Mm, it's gonna be tight there, folks. You have the opportunity to. Go back and take a look at those plays with the with the replay, but at first shot it did look like it was a foul, but it's actually outside of the box. We initially thought it was inside of the box for a PK. It looked like the official blew and pointed inside the box. However, it was outside of the box where Jones fell. It's going to be a free kick opportunity for Palisades here.
take a look at who's on the ball for Palisades. I believe it's Kim. Brady Kim, the senior, possibly looking to go ahead and shoot that with his left. Checking in is Jones. And see exactly what it is they are discussing. Other officials taking care of the wall. One, two, three, four players on the wall for the goalkeeper of Venice. We're back into live action here. 1-1, one, one, the affair. Kim looks like he's going to go ahead and strike it from there. 1-1, one, one, the scoreline. Opportunity for Palisades. Here's Brady Kim. Goes just wide. No problems here. We're going to have a substitution here for Venice. Leaving the game is going to be number 25. Entering the game back is number 17, Payne. Arrows Payne, I think he did get a yellow card. Yellow card in favor of Payne, so that's why he has to go ahead and make sure he's out for five minutes at least. Update thanks to our thanks to Antonio Alonso who says three nothing is the score at Bell High School, the number eight ranked Bell High School team that it's definitely gonna be in contention for D1 CIF Championship Glory. They defeated Southeast at Southeast five to nothing earlier in the week. So thanks for the update day. Three nothing in favor of Bell right here. It's one one Palisades and Venice. Thirty two minutes gone by, eight minutes left in the halves. We're into its eight minute halves here. Slight tackle or we're gonna have uh, yet another yellow card here. Yellow card handed over here to number eight, Wester. So two yellow cards so far for Venice. To number eight, Wester, and to number 17, Payne. We'll have the ball restarted here. Thirty-three minutes gone by here. One one the score line. Brady Kim looking to go ahead and open up Dust. So what a great move on the far side here. That was Jesse Altamirano. Altamirano just showing off. His great moves that he has. Talented player overall, the number ten for Palisades. Great control and reception by Lev here goes to Lawrence, gets in trouble, clears it moment momentarily back into possession of the Palisades. And here they come once again in the box. Shot! He goes over the crossbar. That was once again. Who else? Joyce Jones. Number 18. And the senior. Palisades. Well, we have another substitution here. Leaving the game is number seven, Lev. Entering the game is number 18, Maldonado. Maldonado looking to go ahead and add something to the midfield of Venice. 34 minutes have gone by in the first half. 1-1 one, one here. Things ended up tied the first time they played each other at Palisades earlier in the year. 0-0. Zero zero. We're going to go ahead and get a quick restart in the middle here. Ball played again, went to Lawrence. Great step. Oh, they almost got still the ball stolen away. And luckily enough, it stays in possession of the condos. Here they come once again, looking the ball put forward. It's headed away. 
opposite side, looking to put the ball in the box and can't do so. Kim looking to control. Here come who? Palisades switching things up to the far side. Reception by Jones. Official's going to blow the whistle for a foul. We'll go ahead and take opportunity on the break to take a look at the goal by Jones. Look at the ball they put. He was on the side all the way through. Takes the composure and just finds his corner there. Once again, look at that, that time of that run. Does exactly what he needs to do to go ahead and put that one into the back of the net and get the tie 1-1 here. A new face in here as well as Wolf, number 21 for Venice, is able to go ahead and make his way back in. The pressure is on top and stolen away. Very well done here by Palisades. They're going to put the cross in. It's headed away defensively, momentarily, and a foul committed there by Torres. Official blows his whistle. We're going to have a free kick in favor of Palisades. Checking in is Noah Ferrero. And I believe it's going to be he, him who's going to take care of this. So Ferrero is going to look at, and I think the best option here would be to take a shot on goal and in that area right in front of the goalkeeper that you see where it's it's a bit muddy, right? Put it there. Put it there. Have a Have a bounce on the goalkeeper. For him to go ahead and leave that one for a teammate to scoop that one back in. Instead goes at goal. Instead goes at goal, but it goes wide for a corner kick. Excuse me, for a goal kick. Goal kick in favor of Venice. 1-1 one, one. the scoreline. Once again, folks, we're coming to you live from Venice, California. You are watching CAF LA City Section Soccer via Futboleando. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are live back into live action with the goalkeeper clearance. Mitchell blows the whistle. It's going to be foul in favor of Venice. Go kick in favor of. Venice. Some Friday Night Light football action coming to you via Futboleando. Thank you, folks, for tuning in. Ball's going to be cleared away. Jones looking to send things forward, but it's going to be back in possession of the Gondos. Here's Wolf looking for it. Ball's going to be lost for a throw in in favor of Palisades. We'll take a look once again of. Just that beautiful shot of Venice, California. We're in the west side earlier. We were in the San Fernando Valley. Looking to be all over Southern California and Los Angeles to bring you all the great coverage that is CIF LA City Section Soccer, folks. Well, what a great turn here. Puts through the ball forward and just doesn't get great possession. But Skoloff, the goal scorer of Venice, just does a great turn and move and leaves everyone here with woos and ahs. Ball put forward there and cleared away for a throw in. Healthy looking crowd here, folks. Look at, folks know the importance of this one. So a great looking 
crowd here in Venice High School. Restart here. Oof. It goes just off of a head of a player. It stays down. Officially going to go ahead and stop this one. Rightfully so. Player goes down. We'll take another look at the goal scored by Jones. The difference in this one that has it one to one. Look at this timing. He's onside completely. But just the timeliness of Jones and able to go ahead and find that pocket. It's 1-1. One, one. Great goal so far here from both these teams. One side of Jones, the other side Skoloff. We're back into replay here. Ball given away defensively. Venice passing the equator of the field. Ball played in the middle, give and go, still going forward. Inbound, deflected, it's gonna be throw it in favor of Oh, Venice, get us restarted. No offsides in throwing, as many of you may know. Boss going to be fought for there. Still going on Venice. Oh, what a great move. He gets away from two defenders. Still loose there. Takes a one-time shot. It looks like there was possibly a handball shot here. Official says play on. And we'll take a look at the replay. We we'll, won't get us a better angle. See here, takes a time. And yeah, no, off the shot, he has his hands right beneath his back. As the official blows his whistle for halftime. It is 1-1. The scoreline between these two. We'll head into the second half. Right after this quick break. Don't forget we'll bring you the second half action. In this one coming to you live via Futboleando. After this quick break.
And folks, we are back live for the second half actions of things here in the Western League Derby, if you will, or the Clásico between these two, Pacific Palisades and the Venice Gondos. It's a 1-1 affair, goal score by 11 Skoloff of Venice and number 15, 18 rather, Joyce, jo Joyce Jones of Palisades. Ball's going to be crossed in, loose, and cleared away defensively. Minute into the second half. Great stuff between these two. Ball's going to be cleared away as it remains in possession and control of Venice. Healthy looking crowd in attendance of this one. It's a big game for the local community here in the west side, specifically on you know the Venice Palisades area of things. Boss gonna be kicked right in front of us here. We'll take a a minute to look at the crowd. know the importance of this one here tonight but pointed all the way through Lawrence able to go ahead and clear for his goalkeeper who comes in with everything and clears this one away for a throw in ball back inside here Lawrence able to go ahead and clear this one away passes the equator to the field and possession back of Palisades. Great move here by the Dolphins. Kim looking to switch things up. Finds Jones. Ball's going to be loose there. Opportunity here for Palisades. Takes a one shot. Takes two. No. He had one chance, two chance. It goes down. He's going to, officials going to say it's going to be a free kick and a yellow card. Finish a yellow card for. Palisades, it's going to be for number 15, Joyce Jones, one of the goal scorers here tonight. One one, the score line here, both these teams. We're looking to gain ground in the Western League. Both Palisades behind Fairfax and University. So Palisades, I mean, as favored as they are to win the Division One, they have to win the league first here, folks, to you know go into the playoffs looking rather strong. Venice, you could tell they like to come out touching the ball, but they lose possession here. Altamirano looking to control there. Who is this? It's Wester who clears this one away. Kim able to go ahead and control, put this one back inside. Seems like he takes a foul. Yeah, it goes down. Official blows his whistle for a free kick in favor of Palisades. Trying to see who it is that is making his way back onto his feet. Either way, it's going to be a free kick in favor of the Dolphins. It was... Weinberger who goes down. I believe they go straight directly at goal. It's going to be number 27 on top of this one. Official blows his whistle. One time shot. Goes to the uprights for a field goal, but this is football, not football. Either way, it's going to be. A goal kick as, folks, nighttime has completely fallen here in 
Venice, California. We get a beautiful shot of Venice Beach. We'd like to thank you so much for tuning in to our broadcast here. Ball's going to be placed too far away. Once again, thank you for joining us tonight. I am Jose Duran, your play-by-play -play announcer. Thank you for joining us on our multi-streaming platforms. We're coming to you live via YouTube, via Facebook, and Twitch. Make sure to like and subscribe to our multi-streaming platforms to keep up to date with all of the great stuff that is CIF LA City Section Soccer. This is a clash between the Division One and the Division Two team. Oh, that was Weinberger again looking to go ahead and get things rolling. Throw in in favor of Palisades. This is Altamirano looking to go on top to Jones and back it in. We're right in between of and a great shot of Lincoln Boulevard there, folks. So those of you wondering exactly where we're located, we're between right in the corner of Lincoln Boulevard and Venice Boulevard. Back into live action play here. Here come the Gondos. They let the ball go through for Wester. He puts a long through ball. Not the best of balls that are going to get through for here. And goalkeeper able to go ahead and clear this one. Doesn't go that far. And cleared away. Here's Weinberger. Headed away defensively by the Gondos. Gonna be a throw in. And here we go once again. Very physical game. Altamirano clears this one. Wester takes that off of his face and off of a Palace Sides defender in possession of Venice. Gondo's looking to go ahead and Upset here, the number four in the Fubuliando rankings, Palisades. Palisades looking to keep pace with University and Fairfax in the Western League. Wester able to go ahead and head that one away. Who's going to get control of it? It was briefly the Dolphins back in possession of the team in white, the team visiting, the team attacking from left to right. Goes down player from Venice's night ha time has completely fallen here beautiful shots of the palm trees in the back John the indication of what else beautiful Southern California a 1-1 affair between these two and the Derby the Classico the rivalry game between Palisades and Venice High School speaking to some of the parents seems like it's been a a couple of years the Palisades has had uh, domination over Venice headed doesn't get anywhere it's going to be a goal kick we have a substitution rolling in here Venice High School the 2022 CIF Division 4 city champions so a team that's won CIF for Division 4 in 2022 have been moving up the ranks in CIF. They're now in Division 2. I mean, wins like this are what make a statement. Lawrence lets that one go through. Opportunity here for the Dolphins. It goes and escapes the pass. Here's Weinberger again. He's going to go ahead and cross this one. They're defensively headed away and clear out of danger. Here's Wester able to go ahead and clear this one away. And it's going to be a throw in in favor of... The Dolphins, here's Altamirano, goes and plays it short. Boss going to go back to Altamirano, deflect it out of bounds, and throw in in favor of Palisades. Here's Kim. Boss going to be lost out of bounds, throw in in favor of Palisades. Once again, folks, thank you so much for 
joining us as we're coming to you live from the west side, live from Venice, California. Beautiful Venice, California. A shot of Venice Beach behind those apartments as nighttime has fallen here in Venice, California. Appreciate you tuning in to our broadcast. 11 minutes have gone by and it's 1-1 the affair. It's been a very entertaining one to say the least. And the official called the free kick so it's going to have a free kick as good as a corner kick for this one. That's number 27 for Palisades is going to go ahead and cross this one in. Cross does come in all the way through headed. And goalkeeper able to go ahead and get a great save there and sends this one for a corner kick. We'll take a look at the replay here. Boss crossed in and it's a great reaction save by the goalkeeper. And back into live action play. Boss going to be crossed in here over everyone. Cleared away defensively. And here we go the other side. Go referee is going to blow his whistle for a free kick foul in favor of Palisades. One time shot. Deflected defensively. Cleared away by Lawrence. Number 20 of Venice. It's been a great Game for him overall defensively. Wester goes down. Official blows his whistle. Joyce Jones better be careful. Has a yellow card already. Official says it's going to be a free kick in favor of Venice. That's Wester. On top of this one. Loses it momentarily. Loses it to Jones. Overlapping run. Here comes Palisades. Opportunity in the box. Still there. Gets away from one. Gets away from two. And a great save again by the goalkeeper. And Lawrence able to go ahead and clear that one away from danger. It's great stuff overall from the Venice goalkeeper here. They are starting to get riled up. The team Jones. Saying things back and forth there. Game as the intensity absolutely rises. Jones and Payne, they're both with yellow cards. So they need to be cautious there. It's going to be a throw in in favor of Palisades. Ball healed away. Who's going to get possession? Great sliding tackle. Official's going to blow his whistle. Call a foul against Venice. It's going to be a free kick in favor of Palisades. The foul is called, I believe, on number 10 of Venice. One one, the score line here. Boss going to be crossed in, and goalkeeper calls off all of his defenders, says, Mia, Mia, mine. And keeps the ball in his possession. 14 minutes have gone by. Goalkeeper able to go ahead and clear this one here on the near side with Payne. Looking on top. Who's going to get control of it? Still fighting for it. Kim, who? No one. It's number 10 of Venice. Open to open it up. Hubbard able to go ahead and get 50-50. That one is finally carried away out of danger by Palisades. Great turn here and great game overall, folks. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight via our multi-streaming platforms. Free kick in favor of Palisades. We are coming to you live via Facebook, Instagram, excuse me, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our multi-streaming platforms we'll be bringing you great games like you're watching here tonight and great clashes of CIF LA City section soccer this is a great clash between a division one team the number four Palisades and a division two team the Venice Gondos 
Goal scored in the first half by Venice. Number 11, Skoloff. Number 18, Joyce Jones. Great shot, had it. No problems for the goalkeeper. Couple of substitutions coming in is number three, Perianes. As well as number 24, Santay. Next year in the game, number 18, Maldonado. So a couple of substitutions for Venice. Thank you so much for joining us in today's broadcast. Let us know where are you joining us from? Where are you tuning us from? What part of Los Angeles? What part of this great country of ours are you tuning us in? And joining watching this great two teams what at it the classico the derby game between palisades and venice things are going to start heating up here soon as time starts to wind down ball's going to be played here on the near side great control looking to go ahead and go in the middle great turn here by number 12 and give and go by venice looking to go ahead and get across in headed away defensively it's going to stop for skull off again takes a one-time shot it goes over the goalkeeper but a great shot by skull off We'll take a go ahead and look at the replay here. It just steps right there, and bam. Nothing to come out of it. I believe there's a briefly injured player there. Once again, folks, we are coming to you live from Venice, California. Great shot of beautiful Venice Beach. We are in Venice High School, specifically right off Lincoln Boulevard and Venice Boulevard. A great shot of Lincoln there. For those of you a little bit more familiar with the area. So far it's 1-1 the affair here between these two. As the night time has completely fallen over here, 1-1 one, one, the score between these two rivals. Goalkeeper's gonna go ahead and get us restarted here. Free says it's gonna be a foul in favor of Palisades with a push. Once again, I am play-by-play -play broadcaster folks Jose Duran bringing you today's actions we're live on Facebook we are live on YouTube and we are live on Twitch on a great night for some soccer here under the lights in Venice California Ball's going to put forward here. He gets away one on one. I can scream the two. I can scream it. And the goalkeeper blocks it. What a miss by Venice. Puts this one right back in. Oh, it's not going to get nothing out of that one. And shot's going to be right back at the goalkeeper. We're looking at the replay once again. And we are lucky here, folks, to still have 1 1 affair back into live action. I mean, that was right there for Venice, folks. 1v1. Wester looking on top to put a ball through here for Perianes. Perianes. Fighting for it is other gondols still going. Looks like they're getting a tuck pull. Ball's going to be inside the box. Oof. Here's Wester again. Pushing the ball forward are the gondos. They sense blood, folks. They are like a shark in the deep blue sea, and they sense blood. And we want to go ahead and put it in the back of the net, do they? Here's to Wester. Able to chest that one back. Very smartly enough, let that one go out of bounds. Very animated game here in the Classico. 
Jones heads that one through, not the best of, of header. Ball go all back to the goalkeeper. Lawrence able to clear that one away and no problems for the goalkeeper. We have 20 minutes left in this one. 20 minutes have gone by so far in the second half. 40 minutes, halves. In these games, don't forget it's a foul blown by the official. In favor of Venice, the Gondos looking to go ahead and upset a Division I team that makes some noise here in the Western League. And this is Western, number eight. Looking to go ahead and get a cross in here until the official says go. Hand up, cross is in. One time bounce, cleared away defensively, still lose there, headed away. Who's going to go ahead and take a shot? Is it going to be Venice? No, it's going to be who? Oof. Cleared away defensively last minute, out of danger, but we're going to have a corner kick. We're getting some updates that are coming in saying Fremont is on top. So the Pathfinder is looking to go ahead and remain undefeated. Ball's going to be crossed in head. It's still loose in the box. Wester able to go ahead and gain possession, take a shot from the distance. It's going to be a goal kick. Yet another corner kick in favor of Venice. 18 minutes to go in this one, plus whatever the official wants to add on. Ball's gonna be crossed in. Headed away defensively and cleared out of danger. Ball's headed away defensively, out of danger, but it's going to be a remain in possession of Venice. Final scores coming in here as I believe Bell has come on top of Southgate, three goals to one. The avenge of defeat against Southgate at Bell earlier in the season. So great win for Bell High School, and they are maintaining top of the Eastern League. Great move here from Palisades, they get inside of the box, able to get across and headed, and right at the goalkeeper. I believe it was Jones who got a header there, but the goalkeeper able to go ahead and get control of this one without a problem. And we are still knotted up at one. Ball's going to be headed back into territory of the gondols but sent back into palisade section here comes venice attacking to go ahead and push forward they get away from one a great defensive tackle and clearance from pally ball given right back great touching sequence here from palisades Cleared away defensively out of danger. Back in possession of Lev. Here's the number seven player of Venice looking to push ball forward. He does so here. And a very well-timed tackle by a Dolphins player. But the ball goes back in possession of who? The Gondos. Here we go. And they touch, try to touch the ball near side. Here's Wester. He's been completely involved in this one. Has the number eight of Venice. Ball back in the middle. Number 12 looking forward. Here's who Lev. And ball taken away by Brady Kim. Still loose there. Deflected. Not the best of deflections. Kim able to go ahead and clear that one away momentarily. And it's going to be back in possession of Venice. So they're going to have a couple of substitutions making their way back in here. It's going to be number 18, Maldonado. Making their way back in this one. So Maldonado making his way back in. Exiting is going to be... Perianes, number 33. As Maldonado looking to go ahead and make an impact. Ball 
Ball's played here on Pally's territory. Shots taken from the outside. Goalkeeper's going to go ahead and let this one go ahead and go over him without an issue. Once again, folks, thank you so much for tuning in to our broadcast. We are coming to you live from Venice, California. You are watching Footballando. You're streaming CIF LA City Section Soccer via our multi-streaming platforms. Thank you so much as we see a beautiful aerial drone shot of Venice, California. But we're back into live action here. Ball's headed away, controlled by Venice. So the last couple of minutes have been nothing but Venice on the attack. Great ball forward here. This is Payne. He's cast control with his right. What a great turn. He's inside the box. Puts a cross in and cleared away defensively. And here comes the counter attack for Pally. But a very well defensive tackle from Venice. Tries to put a ball forward. It goes way too far. It's going to be a goal kick. But great back and forth stuff between these two. And so far it's just been a great night for soccer. We've had couple of great goals from these two teams. It's 1-1 the affair. We'll take a, a look at the first goal of Venice. Look at that turn and shot. So that was what got us started earlier on here tonight, folks. A goal scored by number 11, Skolov. Great setup overall and great turn so that opened up the scoreboard here at one Kim looking to put the ball forward there Fisher blows a whistle in favor of Palisades. We'll take a, a look at the Pally goal here. That's, that was the foul and a free kick awarded to Pally, rather. Pally looking to go ahead and get something going. That's Jesse Altamirano. Getting a reception, still pushing forward, gets deflected off him, and a goal kick. Now we take an opportunity here in the break and look at the Pally goal. That's Joyce Jones on your screen there. Great setup and great finish by Jones. It was a great ball put for Jones. Look at that. Man, he times his run. He gets a great ball put for him. And able to go ahead and just tuck one into, where else? The back of the net. Ball's headed away. Back in possession of who? Palisades. About 29 minutes have gone by here. Official changes the call and goes that this is going to be in possession of Venice. And a throw in on the far side. Ball's going to be put here dangerously. Who's going to come out on top of it? Great slide by Venice. Still pushing forward. Altamirano able to go ahead and put his body on top of that one. Here we see him on screen. Number 10 for Palisades. 10 minutes to go. And this one plus whatever the official wants to add on. Still pushing forward with Palisades. They run out of field. It's going to be a throw in in favor of the Venice Gondos, who have been playing very well soccer. I'll tell you that, folks. They are surprising folks here, but they have been playing just extremely great soccer overall this season. They tied the first time these two played against one another, 0-0. Zero zero. But... And this one, they're looking to go ahead and get out of here with a win, playing at home, but not if Pally's able to go ahead and change things up. What a great ball put through forward. He's in the box, able to go ahead and get across and deflect it off of him. That was Jack Spirito looking to get something going. It's deflected off him for a goal kick. This 
again, a healthy looking crowd here tonight. Enjoying this one. Back into a live action here on the far side by the Palisades bench. Ball's going to be lost out of bounds, throw in in favor of Venice. They got to be careful with these counter attacks. Both these teams, and Cat slipping. Wester able to put a ball forward, headed away defensively. Goes back to Wester. He's been completely involved in the second half as Wester. And here comes once again the Palisades looking to put a ball forward. Lawrence able to go ahead and get that one cleared away. Number 20 defender of Venice has been active so far here tonight. As we see, we're not sure exactly who it is, but someone getting some medical attention there on the sideline bench. Hope that it's not anything too serious here. Possibly just a cramp there. Back in live action here. Ramirez was looking to go ahead and put that one forward to himself with a heel pass, but it goes out of bounds and a throw in. 32 minutes have gone by in this one. About eight minutes to go in. This derby, this classical between these two. Oh, what a great turn. I think that's still was Brandon Ramirez. We're going to get a corner kick here. But it was like that. Yeah, it was Ramirez. We'll see him on screen here. We're going to have a corner kick in favor of Pally. Ball's going to be crossed in, deflected away defensively momentarily by Venice. Back in possession of Palisades. They take a shot and cleared away. And we're going to go on the far side. Ball's going to be deflected, but it's going to be a throw in in favor of Venice. Here's Wester. Once again, we're calling his name. Great turn and move. He gets fouled. Goes down. As Wester's picked up by his teammates, right back up he goes. As both these teams are going to really amp things up to get back into it. and get a lead. Well, if you're Venice, get the lead back. And if you're Pally, get the lead for the first time tonight. Folks, I'm Jose Duran, your play-by-play -play broadcaster. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Don't forget to like and subscribe our Futboleando multi-streaming pages. Boss gonna be in the middle, still there. Bicycle kick attempt, still shoot, lost there. It's going to be deflected. Referee says no foul. In possession, thus comes up the goalkeeper of Pali. Able to hold it, get us started quickly here. Ball's going to be played on the far side. Still pushing forward is Pali. They have possession of this one. See if they swing it here. They do. Here's Altamirano. Jesse picks his head up. Cross inside, takes a look at a shot on goal. Oof. I mean, that one hung up there for a minute, folks. And the goalkeeper able to go ahead and get possession of this one without a problem. Five minutes left in this one. It appears that we're going to have a tie. It smells like it. You all smell that? It smells like a tie. Unless the most anticipated guest of them all were able to go ahead and make an appearance here as night has fallen. He's already made two appearances tonight. Possibly a third. Ball cleared away. Back in possession of Venice. What's going to be lost for a throw in? This is Altamirano. He's also been very active here tonight. The official says, back it up. Ball's cleared all the way through. Who's going to fight for it? Lawrence able to go ahead and head that one away. 
We are live via Futboleando on a beautiful Friday night afternoon here from Southern California, specifically in Venice, California tonight. As these two are looking to go ahead and make a mark and get a win in the Western League. Palestine's looking to improve to 12 Three and three overall. Four zero oh, and three in league. Venice looking to improve to six. Three and one. Overall and three two and one in league play. They have four minutes to go to make that happen. West are able to go ahead and get control of it. Stolen away. Here's a counter attack for Pally. They have numbers that they want them. Ball's going to be placed forward all the way through. Gets a stolen away by Jones. Still Jones there on his feet. But doesn't have the numbers to go ahead and back it up. Takes a shot from distance. It's deflected left. There goes. Pacific Palisades and I mean those shots that we've been talking about tonight here folks just those horrible bouncing shots that in front of the goalkeepers just you know it's become even more we'll, we'll take a look at it here at a close-up I mean just that right that there that is an issue for the goalkeeper and they showed it tonight here that just takes a horrible bounce for him there. Either way, the the fields. I mean, it started in great condition. Since then, it has changed. We'll take a look at the replay once again. The ball was left there. Taken, deflected, and who else? Joyce Jones. Joyce Jones able to go ahead and put that one into the back of the net and extend the lead for Pally. It's two to one. We're going to have a goal kick in favor of Palisades. We'll take uh, back into live action. We'll take a look once again at the replay of that second goal for Pally. It's just a shot. Just takes a horrible bounce on the goalkeeper. I mean, nothing he could do there. The condition of the field just doesn't allow him to get a clean save. Goalkeeper able to get on this one. We have a minute and a half left in this game. Palisades are able to get a late goal and possibly come out of here with the win. Here's Lev looking to put a ball through here. Cleared away defensively. Throw in in favor of Venice. It's going to be one of the last opportunities here. We are right about the nick of time, 39 minutes. But here they go once again. That was left. I was just going to say it's a foul. Yep. He goes down. They're going to have a free kick opportunity here. One of the last opportunities of the night. Checking in is Perianes. They're going to look to cross it in. Lev on it as well. They're going to get a cross in looking for a late equalizer here. Goalkeeper goes as well. Ball's going to be crossed in. Loose there in the box. Shot deflected and cleared away. Back to the goalkeeper. There is no goalie now. We have reached the 40th minute mark. This is just added on time plus whatever the, what, what the official wants to add on. So we hit 40 minutes. Let's see what the official wants to add on here. How many they do. It's headed away defensively momentarily. Back in possession of who? Pally defensively. Cleared it away. Back to Venice. Boss going to be fought for and cleared away. 
They're asking for time. Are the Palisades Dolphins? Payne's gonna go ahead and get us restarted here with the throw in. They're in the corner on the far side. Official's gonna say it's gonna be a free kick in favor of Palisades. Their charter bus already ready to go and take these boys back home with a dub. This is Noah Ferrero to get us restarted here. We've reached time 2-1 in favor of Palisades. An error in the back by the goalkeeper that not there. And here could be an extension for a three. Ball's going to be crossed in. It goes over everyone. No one there to get it. Back to who? Altamirano. And cleared away defensively, finally. It was Portela who's made his way back in for the Dolphins. Fish is going to say it's a dead ball throw in. There's going to be a couple of substitutions for Pally. As we see Bedoya make his way back in and on frame. You hear the screams for Jesse Corner. So they're instructing Altamirano to go and hide the ball in the corner. Fish is going to say it's going to be a free kick in favor of Venice. Should be one of the last opportunities of the night. Great shot of the background of Venice high there. Boss going to be clear up top, passes the equator of the field. I believe that was Kim who got a foot on it there. As official, it's going to blow a whistle for a foul. Not sure exactly what they call. I believe he did call a handball. We were all a little bit confused here. Time is ticking. Two and a half, three minutes rather, gone by. And what the referee has added on here. 2 1 the scoreboard in favor of Pally Sides. That's Pally looking to go ahead and remain in control here. As that's it. Official blows the whistle and says it is a final. From Venice High School, Pacific Palisades able to come up on top two goals to one on this one. They take the derby game. They take the Clasico, whatever you want to call it. They take it. It's 2-1 in favor of the visiting team as the Venice Gondos fall here to the Division One and 4th rank in the Futboliando rankings. Once again, folks, thank you so much for joining us tonight and making us part of your Friday Night Lights football action here as a cameraman producer tech audio and play-by-play -play broadcaster i am jose duran say you thank you so much until next time please stay tuned to all our social media platforms for our upcoming broadcasting schedule thank you so much